Hi everyone, it's Coot here. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying the, the video so far and you've been implementing some of the things and I really trust that you've been intensifying, <clears throat> connecting to and really feeling your commitment, your openness, your willingness. Remember, your openness, your willingness is going to determine what you receive from the Man Breakthrough experience. And I, I found working with people over the years, over the last 12, 13 years, is unless you, someone really is committed and truly wants to shift, and have a breakthrough. Shifts don't happen. We have so many patterns and so many, you know, mechanisms and strategies for survival that unless you're really committed, all these other things tend to get the better of us. So I'm hoping that each day, with each day as it moves closer to the Man Breakthrough Experience weekend, your commitment is intensifying and becoming stronger and becoming more and more authentic so that when we meet in the room and you walk in, you are just raring to go. I know I am already, so I, I wish the training was here right now. And uh, <clears throat> one thing I want you to consider uh, before the weekend, see, because the way I see it, every single area of your life is completely interconnected. Your health, your relationship, your emotions, your finances, your career, all these different areas are completely interconnected as an integrated whole. And sometimes we try and isolate different aspects of our life and we try and separate our relationship over here and our finances over here and our health over here and the way we eat over here. But the way I see it, they're all interconnected. <clears throat> What I really do when I work with people, whether in groups or one-on-one, -on -one, is I really get to the core of where the root of some of these blocks are. That's really what I'll be doing with you during our weekend. So you have to be ready for that, you have to want that, you have to be willing, you have to be available for that, you have to be committed, okay? And we get to the root core. So all these different areas of your life are completely interconnected. Does that make sense? So here's something <clears throat> I would like you to think about before the weekend is what things in your life currently and where in your life are, are things not complete? What's incomplete in your life? And I want you basically to make a list of some of these things. What I found is to the degree that you have things that are hanging, unresolved, incomplete. Some of these things could be big things, some of these things could be small things. You know, as big as, you know, my relationship with my dad, my relationship with my ex-husband, my relationship with my, you know, ex-boyfriend, my relationship with my, with my children, to, you know, I need to clean out my closet, I need to, 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 to make up, to return a phone call, I need to, you know, take out the trash, I need to, you know, give clothes away, whatever it might be, uh, the more incompletions you have, the more that they will take up psychic and energetic space in your consciousness and rob you of energy. The more incompletions you have, the more energy will leak from you and the less energy you will have to fuel yourself, to regenerate yourself, to just allow that energy to breathe and flow in your life and radiate that out. So, how much energy do you want to have is in direct proportion to how complete things can be in your life. So the more complete you can be, the more energy you're gonna have. So I'm going to invite you to really, the next few days, just take a look at what's incomplete in your life. Maybe there's promises you've made, maybe there's money people owe you, maybe there's a phone call you owe someone, or money you owe someone. All these things that tend to just kind of hang there unresolved and not dealt with take a percentage, 5%, 10%, 1%, 1.5%, 1 20% of your energy that you have to fuel your heart, to fuel your life, to take into relationships. If you're carrying old energy from past relationships, old energy from exes, old energy from an old guy you were seeing but is just kind of undealt with, just, just hanging, I guarantee you that's playing out somewhere in your conscious or, or your unconscious and is having an impact and determine, and having an impact and 
and making a difference in terms of what you're taking into your future, into your future life, into your future relationships. So what I would like you to do is really make a list and write about and explore what's incomplete in your life. Where are things not complete, unresolved, don't quite feel completely just, just at peace? And I want to write a little bit about that. And I'd encourage you to make a list of all the things that are incomplete. And then, and then what I'd like you to do is really decide what you would like to do to begin completing some of these things. Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's just declaring it done and just saying, hey, it's done. It's not going to change. That's just the way it is. It's done. This way you don't keep it hanging in your consciousness, robbing you of vital energy that you could be using in a whole different area of your life, that you could be using and taking into a new relationship that you have. When you go into a relationship, you're going to need all of your energy. You're going to need your full total presence if you want a relationship to work and if you want a relationship to be vital and alive and vibrant. It's going to take full awareness and all of you being present. The more of you that is present in a relationship, the more chance there is for that relationship to work. And if 20% of you is over here, and 15% of you is over there, and another 5% of you is over there, then you're only bringing maybe 60% of your full, true capacity of who you are into a current relationship with a man, and that is having an impact because you're not all there. You're not all available to what's available in that connection, in that relationship. You're not fully ready, so to speak. So before we go into the weekend, and I want you just to review some of these areas and then decide what you're going to do to complete these things as much as you can and kind of realign your life so that when we get to the weekend, we will deal with certain big things. We will deal with certain bigger issues, big blocks, whatever it might be, things you may not see. But as much preparation as you can do to kind of, you know, clear up some of these little things, some of the things that might be, you know, draining you of energy. This way, during the weekend, we have a head start and we can really work on the things that are really important and, that, and there's less static and there's less other things that are draining you of your energy and that taking your attention and we can then really focus in and move really fast during our weekend. So are you ready to kind of get some things complete? Are you ready? It's really important. Remember the preparation you do leading up to the man breakthrough experience is going to make the difference. It will make the difference. So clear up some of these incompletions and I guarantee you as you clear up certain things that might feel incomplete in other areas of your life. Maybe your finances, maybe taxes, maybe uh, <clears throat> a friendship, maybe with your kids. Everything is totally integrated. Everything is totally interconnected that you might find it starts impacting how you feel about yourself. It starts freeing up more energy. It starts impacting your radiance, your light, your vitality, your aliveness, your energy level, your vibrancy. And as a result, that ends up having an impact and freeing you up in your relationship with men, in your romantic relationships with men, and your love life. It's all completely interconnected. So we're gonna be working during the Man Breakthrough Experience holistically because everything being interconnected as an integrated whole affects everything else. Everything affects everything else. So we're going to be working holistically and really clearing things out to simply move you back into the graceful openness and flow that you truly were meant to live inside of. I'm sending you lots of love. I encourage you to give your homework a hundred percent. Let's call it play work, right? To give your play work a hundred percent. And uh, I can't wait to see you really soon during the weekend. Sending you big hugs and much love now.